Welcome. We begin tonight in Egypt, where the country's Prime Minister, Ibrahim Maleb, has assured Egyptians that half of the money previously allocated to subsidies will now be used to improve health care and education in the country. Now, last week, the government raised fuel prices by as much as 78 percent. This was following a promise to cut subsidies that eat up nearly a quarter of the state's budget. As a result, prices for regular consumer goods have increased. Mahalab defended the price increase and said they were vital for the war on poverty. Now, the leader reiterated that the government is not working against the poor, but it's working for the benefit of all. We spend much less on education than on power subsidies. This is a crime against the nation. If this government is to continue and it has the vision and solutions, it should not be afraid to take the step. We did not have 51 billion pounds, but now we have it because of this move in petroleum prices. We will need a loan and will pay interest just to use it on petroleum products that burn away. It was going to be a debt on future generations.